Continue by using the progress you made in the previous lesson in the animation start.max file. Navigate to the ceiling fan in the station. Now you can animate the fan so that its main blades rotate continuously. If you select the blades, you will see that their pivots are centered on each blade. It would be impossible to rotate them like a fan should. We can group the blades like we did with the lamp object in an earlier lesson, and then place the group pivot in the center, or we can link the blades with the fan body so that the fan body is the object that rotates the blades. Let's take a look at this linking method. Linking creates a parent-child relationship, which means that if you move or rotate the fan body, which is the parent, the blades move with it. If you move or rotate the blades, which are the children, only the blades move or rotate, not the fan body itself. The children, the blades, inherit the pivot from the parent, the fan body, in this linking method. Start by selecting each fan blade using control click. In the main toolbar, select the link tool. Click on one of the selected blades and drag to the fan body. That created a link. As you can see in the Scene Explorer, when you are in sort by hierarchy mode, Select the fan body and rotate to test the link. The linking works perfectly. Turn on Auto Key. Go to frame 20 and rotate the blades about 60 degrees. Scrub through the animation. The blades rotate 60 degrees in 20 frames. And after that, nothing happens. In the Graph Editor menu, Open the Track View Curve Editor. Find the Rotation Track, and it shows rotation only between frame 0 and 20. Go to the Edit menu, Controllers, Out of Range Types, which offer you different ways to loop an animation. In the dialog, select Relative Repeat which will loop the animation by adding an extra rotation every 20 frames. If you zoom out, you'll see that the curves show the original 20 frame rotation. And from that point on, there's an additional 60 degrees and another 60 degrees where that leaves off and so on. So now the blades rotate without stopping. However, the blade speeds up and slows down and the curve reflects this. A constant speed would be more realistic. Again, you can play with the tangent handles, or in this case, make sure all the keyframes are selected and set their tangents to linear. Now the blades spin continuously at a constant speed. They're a bit slow, but you can easily control the speed by adjusting the keyframes. The interval between the keyframes is a bit too long, so instead of rotating the blades 60 degrees in 20 frames, rotate them faster by adjusting the keyframe, the small black box, from frame 20 to frame 5 in the Curve Editor. Now the blades are spinning a lot faster. The last thing to do for this lesson is to animate the passenger door opening and closing. The door objects are already properly linked together in this scene to create a hierarchy with the upper hinge as the parent for the upper door and the lower hinge as the parent for the lower door. Upper door hinge is the parent for the lower door hinge. What this means when we animate the upper door, the lower door will follow. As you practice animation, hierarchies will become more second nature to you. Move the timeline to frame 30. Select set key and in the key filters 
make sure it's set to rotation only. Now select the upper hinge. Click the set key button. Now move the time slider to frame 60. Rotate negative 140 degrees. Click the set key button. We want the door to stay open for people to exit and enter. Copy the frame at frame 60 to frame 120 by shift, click, and drag from frame 60. Then move the time slider to frame 150, rotate the upper hinge 140 degrees, and click the set key button. Now to animate the lower hinge. Select the lower hinge. Move in the timeline to frame 30 and click the set key button. Now, turn off the set key button by clicking on the button to turn it off, and then turn on the auto key button. Move in the timeline to frame 40 and rotate 40 degrees. Move to frame 50 and rotate 70 degrees. Move to frame 60 and rotate negative 70 degrees. Copy the keyframe from frame 60 to frame 120. Go to frame 130, rotate 60 degrees. Go to frame 140 and rotate negative 70 degrees. And then go to frame 150 and rotate negative 30 degrees. Turn off the auto key now and play through the animation.